Hi, I'm Eric Voss, and Netflix's new sci-fi series, Altered Carbon, is positioned to be the new high-concept action mystery series that we all go nutty about. At least until Westworld comes back and re-shatters our minds. I'm gonna explain what Altered Carbon is, the book it's adapted from, and how, with influences like Blade Runner and The Matrix, it could be the thrilling, thoughtful sci-fi mystery that you have to watch to stay relevant. Because admit it, that's what this is all about. You're afraid of missing out. We're all afraid. Okay, Altered Carbon was a 2002 sci-fi novel by Richard Moore about a future where human consciousnesses can be transferred to new bodies after they die. These new bodies are called sleeves. Their whole consciousnesses and memories up until that point when they die are stored in stacks that are digitally inserted into the new replacement bodies. Now, most people in the society can only afford to re-sleeve once at the end of their lives. And then after that replacement sleeve grows old, they decide not to do it again. But the super, super wealthy one percenters can re-sleeve continuously, living on for hundreds of years at they want to. Now these are called meths, a reference to the biblical figure Methuselah, who according to scripture lived the longest to the age of 969. Nice. But the story of Altered Carbon is a mystery. The richest man on earth, a meth named Lorenz Bancroft, who resleeves every 48 hours, was murdered and resleeves this time with no memory of the past two days. So he wants to know who killed him and why. So we hire someone to investigate this mystery. Enter our hero, Takeshi Kovach, played by Joel Kinnaman from Suicide Squad. Kovach was an envoy previously, a super soldier designed with neural muscle memory and heightened senses to engage in combat on other planets. By the way, in this story, that was the whole origin of the sleeve technology. Humans developed light speed interstellar travel and needed a way to transport consciousnesses into new host bodies across the galaxy that could handle each of these new environments. In Kovach's case, he's haunted by this military past. In the book, it was a nasty battle on another planet where envoys were infected with a lethal virus. But in the show, it looks like that past will involve Kovach flipping sides to join a rebel leader. But now, 250 years later, this super soldier has been re-sleeved into the body of Elias Riker, a cop in Bay City, a future version of San Francisco. This detective noir style mystery introduces him to Lawrence Bancroft's femme fatale wife, Miriam, and Kristen Ortega, a Bay City cop who is the former partner and lover of Kovach's host body. Now, the novel Altered Carbon won the Philip K. Dick Award for Best Novel in 2003, which makes sense because this series has Dick's DNA all over it. Mm, phrasing. Philip K. Dick, of course, wrote Blade Runner, which Ridley Scott adapted it into the 1982 film that inspired pretty much every dystopian sci-fi that came since, including last year's underappreciated sequel, Blade Runner 2049. From a production design standpoint, Altered Carbon is definitely standing on Blade Runner's cyberpunk shoulders. Kovach is a gruff detective in a long coat and upturned collar, deeply haunted by his past as he struggles in an unnatural body, much like Harrison Ford's Deckard. The grimy setting of Bay City is covered in neon screen high rises and flying cars, much like Blade Runner's future Los Angeles. Mostly, Altered Carbon seems to be following Blade Runner's lead and asking those big questions about humanity's relationship with technology. When the human soul no longer has to be linked with a human body, is humanity really that exceptional at that point? Like, if technology allows us to keep living forever, that would make the human race masters of death, leading to some pretty fascinating side effects. For example, a major subplot of the book centers around how Catholics refuse to re-sleeve after death, believing souls should go to heaven. That makes them targets for murder, since their consciousnesses wouldn't be left behind as witnesses. Now, part of the book is a whole legal attempt to circumvent that so that Catholic murder victims can testify. Societal consequences like these are what define great science fiction, and Philip K. Dick's Blade Runner was really one of the first to get us to apply that if this, then what else mindset to the genre. And if you liked Blade Runner and the recent sequel, but you wish there was just a bit more forward-moving plot and action to keep you invested in these deeper themes, Alter Carbon might be exactly what you're looking for. Now, I won't say much about this upcoming season, but the mystery is extremely narratively dense, with lots of interweaving plot threads and well-choreographed action. They explore the idea of sleeves from several interesting angles, including one episode showing an All Hallows holiday where people re-sleeve as different identities, kind of like Halloween costumes. The show might actually remind you a lot of another Philip K. Dick-inspired sci-fi story, The Matrix. That film embraced the dystopian aesthetic and tech humanity themes of Blade Runner without being an exact replicant of it, and so does Altered Carbon. Like The Matrix, Altered Carbon's story charges 
forward with more urgency and exciting stunt work. There's even a Neo Morpheus type relationship between Kovacs' past envoy identity, played by Will Young Lee, and the rebel leader he joins up with, Quell Christ Falconer, best name ever, played by Renee Elise Goldsberry, aka Angelica Schuyler from Hamilton. The series was created by Laida Caligridis, a longtime TV and film writer who worked on movies like Shutter Island and Avatar. And she's assembled such a great creative team for this series. The first episode, Out of the Past, was directed by Miguel Sapochnik, who directed the best episodes of Game of Thrones, including Battle of the Bastards, Hard Home, and The Winds of Winter. And if this season of Altered Carbon is successful, Caligridis has plenty of source material to pull from. Richard Morgan wrote two further sequel novels to Altered Carbon, Broken Angels and Woken Furies. So in case Altered Carbon does end up becoming the next Westworld or Game of Thrones, or more likely a commercially successful TV version of Blade Runner, I will be watching. I just um, can't miss out on things. But now that you're more caught up on Alter Carbon, or if you're watching this video after the season has dropped on Netflix on February 2nd, how would you say this show's concept ranks among other Philip K. Dick inspired sci-fi from recent years, like Westworld or Blade Runner 2049 or the great movie Ex Machina? I already love all those things, so hopefully Alter Carbon will aim to be a unique and yet another additional example of this kind of high concept sci-fi without trying to improve upon or fix any of those already great properties. Comment with your thoughts down below or tweet me directly at EA Voss or follow New Rockstars on Twitter at New Rockstars. Like and share this video and subscribe to New Rockstars for analysis of all kinds of properties like this that you love, like Westworld, Blade Runner. And if you really want to help this channel, you can contribute to us on Patreon. Big thanks to all of our donors, especially Christina Armstrong. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.